Well, thank you, and good morning. I want to uh, thank Komodo for having Acronis here today to talk about um, our new partnership, and I also uh, want to say thank you to everybody out on the webinar for taking time out of your day and uh, listening to me talk. Hopefully, um, we'll all be able to take something away from this. I do encourage you to ask questions as we go. Please enter your questions into the uh, GoToWebinar console, and I'll save some time at the end to get through as many questions as we can. Um, we have a lot to talk about today, um, and what I want to focus on primarily is the Acronis Backup Cloud solution, which is now part of the Komodo One Managed Services platform. And we're very excited about this new partnership, and I'm hoping to give you guys a good overview of uh, what this solution is and where it's going to help to bring you value, uh, both in your business and to your customers. I've got a pretty brief agenda, but there's a little, it's, it's going to be a very dense agenda, so stick with me. Um, I want to start off talking about just some of the needs around data protection and what this means for you as far as a business opportunity. And once we go through that, I'm going to talk specifically about the Acronis Backup Cloud solution, what it is, why you want to recommend this to your customers. I'll try to fit in a nice demo so you can see the interface, get an idea for the look and feel, and then we'll come back and talk about the review of some of the key features, uh, briefly touch on how this is sold. And I've even got a couple of great success stories from companies that have uh, recognized a lot of value using the backup service. And time permitting, I know I, I did say I want to leave questions before the end of the hour. Um, but if we have time for it, I'll also give you a little bit of an overview of Acronis as a company for anybody who's not familiar with us. So lots of good information to be had. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. We've pulled some data from a lot of different surveys, a few different sources, and it's interesting to see that even today, as much as 70% of the respondents in these surveys have insufficient disaster recovery protection. I mean, I've seen over the years that disaster recovery is always an afterthought. You, you get a project up and running, and then you think, well, gosh, how are we going to protect it? So it's not surprising to me, at least, that a fair number of business applications are not properly protected. It's also not surprising to me to find that 48% of the respondents to this survey still run both physical and virtual machines in their data center. I know for a long time people said virtualization is going to take over the world, and I was part of that bandwagon, but to be truthful, people still run mixed environments very heavily. It's, uh, it's pretty rare to find anybody who is 100% virtualized. So when looking at disaster recovery and, and backup and recovery, it's important to make sure that you're addressing the complete system and not just uh, one half or the other. It's encouraging to see that a large number of the respondents are also interested in implementing uh, cloud-based data protection services. We are, uh, that we are joining on to. And uh, from the SpiceWorks survey, we found that 49% of their respondents are interested in implementing managed cloud backup as part of their cloud backup plans. So that's what we're going to talk about today, how to uh, introduce cloud managed backup as part of your solution for your customers. Now, when you look at SMB, there are a lot of challenges around providing proper data protection. I mean, over the years, as business applications become more powerful, the infrastructure supporting those is becoming more complex, and the data generated by these applications is being stored in, in more and more locations. So making sure you have a proper plan is, uh, is pretty critical. The volume of the data is growing. There's the number of devices that need to be managed is growing. So being able to provide backup within Windows without just causing a disruption to the, to the work workforce is very important. And uh, one of the constants I've seen in the IT world over the years is that regardless of how much more work there is to do, we're constantly being asked to do it with fewer resources. So you've got fewer people, less time, and less money going in to try to protect more and more data. So it's, uh, it's a definite challenge that we hope to help you provide a solution for. Now, as a service provider, some of your goals, of course, are to reduce your customer churn. You want to acquire new customers, and you want to retain those customers. And for those customers you have, you want to be able to launch new offerings quickly, and that will help you to grow your business, to help uh, get those customers more embedded into your uh, service offerings. It's also great to take on things that your competition may not be doing, where if you can provide services that they may not, it's a fantastic differentiator 
to help pull customers into uh, into your business as opposed to losing them to someone else who may be working in your same field. And uh, with these new offerings, it's a great opportunity to maximize the traction with those customers, giving you the opportunity to go back and say, what else can we interest you in? What other problems can we help you to solve? So lots of uh, lots of benefits to service providers when looking at cloud data protection. So there's a definite opportunity with the SMBs. Uh, you know, looking at the numbers we saw before, you know, we recognize that 50% uh, or more don't use cloud backup. A lot of people are still using uh, disk to disk on site. Maybe they've got tapes. Maybe they take tapes off site. I talked to a lot of people who back up to a USB drive and leave it on top of the server. So certainly an opportunity to make improvements. And in today's world, everybody is very conscious of data security. Um, is my data protected? Is my data secure? Is my data encrypted? Um, lots of concerns around that. And of course, since we're looking to do things with less and less money, everyone's looking to do things without a large initial investment. People don't want to make significant investments in new hardware, new software. They want to be able to get into things um, with a very low initial upfront cost. And from a service provider, this is an ideal opportunity for them to be able to uh, upsell their flagship products, be able to bring things to the market for these SMBs to meet those needs. And in doing so, it's really going to strengthen the bond with those customers. You know, once the customer has a, a great disaster recovery solution from a service provider, um, you know, they, they not only are uh, more embedded with that service provider, but they build a trust relationship with that provider, especially when you start looking at uh, helping them recover from disasters. And this model works just as well with a reseller um, in between that service provider and the SMB customers, where these resellers, they want to grow their business, they want to have new offerings, they want to more transform themselves into a value-added reseller, where they're actually helping customers, perhaps consulting with disaster recovery plans, um, helping to alleviate security concerns. So even as a reseller, fantastic opportunities to help bring these solutions out to the SMB market. So your business opportunity is really around solving customers' data protection needs and doing it so very quickly, which is a, a key part of what Acronis is all about. It gives you an opportunity to expand your service portfolio by adding backup and recovery to those services you're already providing today, and it allows you to create new recurring revenue streams with subscription-based services with zero entry costs. It's very easy for customers uh, to sign up for that service to get their subscription rolling, and then that, rescription, that subscription <laughs> renews annually so you have that recurring revenue stream as part of your bottom line. And I said earlier, by investing in uh, backup and recovery services, it helps you to retain those customers, helps you to reduce that churn in your customer base because they're going to be coming back to you every month, every year to add to their disaster recovery and um, to renew their subscriptions. So we encourage you not only to look at a Cronus backup service, but also to continue growing with other offerings such as Acronis Disaster Recovery Cloud, Acronis Files Cloud, and other cloud offerings that Acronis is, uh, is innovating into the future. Now today, I want to talk about one specific Acronis offering. I want to talk today about the Acronis Backup Cloud solution. And what the Acronis Backup Cloud is, is it equips service providers to quickly solve customers' data protection problems with a proven comprehensive local and cloud backup and recovery service. Now why do you want to choose a Cronus Backup Cloud? Well, to be honest, there's a lot of reasons why you want to choose them. I've got um, a half dozen here I've pulled out. I want to talk about each of these individually. Um, one of the most important ones to me is that a Cronus Backup Service gives you rapid time to market. It's a product that's very easy, very quick to deploy, it's very simple to manage, and it's very cost effective. So customers can uh, sign up um, for just the amount of data that they need to protect, just the capacity they want to use. It doesn't require any new infrastructure, and it's, uh, it, it's a very short turnaround time from their interest to the purchase to the implementation, which is great uh, not only for the customers, but for you as well. A Cronus Backup Service also provides a local and cloud backup in a single solution. It is a true hybrid solution. It's not, I refrain from using the term cloud backup because when I say cloud backup, customers think I'm backing up just to the cloud. But this is actually a cloud managed service that allows you to back up your data locally and into uh, the cloud as needed. You can quickly restore a file or a complete system from your local backups, which is fantastic. They're right there on site. You can get the data very quickly. And you still have the ability to recover a complete system from the cloud in the event of a major disaster, whether you choose to 
uh, pull that image down over your network, or whether you choose to have a, uh, a full recovery service on USB disk, um, all of those are going to be available uh, through Acronis and Komodo. One of the nice things about the Acronis backup technology, uh, we've been doing backup for a long time now. We invented the image-based backup technology that we've been uh, building on for the past 10 or 12 years, and it does allow you to do bare metal recovery of any system to any system, even across dissimilar hardware, whether you're going from vendor A to fender, vendor B or a virtual machine to a physical machine. The Acronis recovery system makes sure that that image is going to be bootable on any platform. You do also have the ability to perform granular file recovery, um, granular database recovery, and we work, of course, across both uh, physical servers, virtual servers, Windows, Linux, Mac clients. Uh, we do support all five major hypervisors as well. Uh, direct integration with VMware, with Hyper-V, we support Red Hat, um, Oracle systems. It really is uh, what we call any data. The Acronis Backup Service was built from the ground up to be a multi-tier, multi-tenant web-based application. It includes up to three rebrandable channel levels, which means you can actually put your name, your colors, your logo on the Acronis Backup Cloud offering and resell that to your customers as something that's being provided by you. Just as uh, Komodo is selling it, um, you two in turn are able to uh, sell it off as a white label solution to your customers. All of the features in this backup technology are um, enabled by the Acronis Any Data Engine, which allows you to backup any data from any platform to restore any place. Um, really a lot of power, powerful features in that backup agent that we've simply taken from our um, existing product line and moved into the cloud-based offering. So you get increased productivity with a simple single pane of glass management um, console that you can now use as a service provider for the customers. <clears throat> now when we talk about doing the cloud backups, you can store your backups really on any storage device. We do offer the Acronis Cloud as part of the subscription, so depending on how much capacity you want to move into the cloud, you would, you would pay for that much storage um, through Komodo, and you still have the ability to use local storage of any kind, so whether you're using direct attached or network attached storage, um, if you have storage gateways, any of those can be uh, designated as a local target as part of your backup plans, and um, there's also the white labeling and co-branding, which allows you to um, grow your business and, and start providing new offerings based on the Acronis Backup Cloud platform. Through the Acronis Backup Cloud, you can offer a simple, flexible method to deploy off-site backup. You can blend this with your customers' existing solutions, so if they already have a uh, backup solution in place for their data center, perhaps they're interested in providing managed backup for their workstations and mobile laptops. Um, you can reduce your management efforts with the uh, customizable self-service console for your customers. It does allow them to self-manage if they choose to. Um, they can log into the console, see just their one customer portion of that multi-tenant application, and still allows you to maintain your market identity by white labeling and co-branding that solution. So you're not just selling um, the Acronis Backup Service, you're actually selling your own backup service based on Acronis Backup Cloud. So really a, a fantastic solution for the uh, distributors and the MSPs. The console does include built-in sign-up for partners and for customers, and we include automatic deployment of uh, management features and software features. So as we're updating things on the, on the application side, that automatically materializes inside your console. And even the agent updates, the agents that run within the data center, those can be remotely updated from the cloud management console. Just select one or more machines or all the machines and click update, and those agents will be updated automatically um, without having to visit all the machines individually. You do, of course, get complete usage tracking and reporting. So if you're looking at uh, supporting multiple customers, you get reports across those multiple customers. And even internally, if they want to manage chargeback, they can divide that into different groups and do chargeback within individual customers. So a lot of flexibility in how you're tracking that utilization. Um, 
there's also the API is going through either the REST API or the uh, APS cloud application standard. Um, we do integrate with those as well. So if you do have other consoles, other applications that you want to tie in to your Acronis backup cloud offering, either to get reporting or to initiate jobs or anything like that, you can leverage the APIs as well. So efficiency across the board is what Acronis backup cloud has been designed to do. There are a lot of reasons why customers have chosen to go with Acronis for their data protection options. I mean, SMBs obviously have a need to protect their data in the event of any disaster, and having a combination of local and cloud storage gives them the ability to, uh, to recover from either local failures or complete site failures. It's great to be able to quickly and easily implement a hybrid protection strategy, having what I call the 3-2-1 the rule of data protection. Uh, if you've not heard of that before, it's uh, three copies of your critical data across two medium with at least one being off-site. And doing hybrid storage between local and cloud helps to satisfy that, where you've got the three copies and you've got all that good stuff. Um, there's also SMBs who are looking to replace uh, tape and other legacy backup solutions. I mean, companies that have been around for a while have been doing backup the same way for years and years, and they recognize that with all of the changes in the market today, it might be time to invest in a, a more modern, more powerful, and more easy to use backup solution. Now, once you've identified an opportunity, it's very easy for uh, the decision makers to identify Acronis as a great solution. The people in the trenches, the backup administrators, the IT people, they've been using the Acronis bare metal recovery technology for years. They recognize the Acronis name, they recognize that they've used this technology, and they know it is a solid backup and recovery option. IT managers, they value the fact that we've built this out as a true multi-platform, multi-application data protection. We're protecting... Um, not only customers, but their applications across the entire Microsoft business stack. And CIOs, they trust the Acronis brand and our proven track record because we've been around for 12 years now because we are a solid business and we are a leader in the data protection industry. So once you have an opportunity, people recognize Acronis as being a, a true value proposition for you to add on to your business. The Acronis Backup Service and other related products sell very well across a number of different market verticals, anywhere from the, the small businesses where they've got um, less than 10 employees, you have one person who's responsible for managing all the IT. Um, we fit really well into the smaller businesses as well where you've got uh, maybe 10 to 50 employees and um, you've got one man IT department managing everything. He really appreciates the uh, simplicity of the solution, the ease of management, and stepping up into the uh, larger companies, moving up into the, the, the true S SMBs and small enterprises. Um, the easy implementation of the dual protection has a great uh, value message with it. The ability to have distributed workforces, distributed IT, managing different in, um, different locations. You have multiple offices, you have field employees. Um, it's great to know that you can not only protect all of that workforce, but also uh, group them into their own organization so you can see exactly what you are protecting in each of your different offices. And obviously, the users of traditional backup solutions are probably looking to replace their tapes. They, uh, you know, they they don't want to make the investment in tapes and trucks and all of the the things that come with offsite storage. They do want to move into using the cloud to simplify that uh, process of backing up and recovering their data with offsite management. I want to take uh, a minute and just walk you through the interface of the Cronus Backup Cloud and, and what you're going to be able to get through Komodo. So if I may, uh, let me go over to my, my web management console. You can see I've uh, pointed my browser at uh, backup.acronis.com. I can get here from the acronis.com website. I can get here from uh, the Komodo One platform. And this is the management console that you'll be logging into. So if I can pull up my account. Always a good day when you get the password right on the first try. So here we can see um, the management interface. And down the left-hand side, I see that we have uh, my own branding. This has been branded as just a distributor demo. You can rebrand this to whatever um, interface you like to see. When you purchase this through Komodo, um, this initial 
uh, branding will have the Komodo logos on it. As the MSP, you do have the ability to manage your own branding as well, which we see over here on the right-hand side. Also on the right-hand side, we can see um, the name of your company, your designation, and how much total capacity you're using <clears throat> inside that Acronis Cloud Storage, and that's based on uh, the capacity of the, the storage use, the number of workstations, number of servers, and number of virtual machines that are, um, that are under the protection. Below that, I can also see the configuration for my administrator accounts, the, the, the admins at the MSP level, and I can also adjust um, or at least view the properties of my business, look at my storage, and also the branding as well. And it's under the branding where MSPs will manage the view that they present to their customers. And you can see very quickly um, that the logo I've selected for the MSP is different than the one shown to the MSP. So as we go down each level uh, from the distributor into Komodo, into uh, Komodo's customers, um, that branding can be specific for each of the customers' views as they log into the service. I want to come back now uh, to the left-hand side, and we see that under this particular MSP, we do have a number of clients. Um, I've got four configured in my my demo lab, and client two is the one we've built out the most. And I can see under client two, we have uh, broken them up into various departments. This particular client may have chosen to do chargeback across different departments. So finance, HR, R&D, and sales all have their own groups. And IT itself um, has their group, and they've chosen to break that down even further, going into uh, different sites, into their data center, different platforms as well, um, all within that single uh, client interface. So at each of these different levels, they can choose to have administrators and backup accounts that are specific to the uh, the group at hand. From this interface, um, as the MSP, I can obviously go through and view each of my clients' information, view their total capacity. Clients do have the ability to self-manage. Um, so if my client 2 admin wanted to log into the console, they would see something specific to client 2 and not to uh, and not to the MSP. But as the MSP, um, I still have the ability to assist my clients with their backups. So on the right-hand side, I have the ability to click on the Manage Backups button, and that's going to bring me into uh, the backup console for the cloud that they are attached to. The default view on the backup side is going to be to show me all of the machines in their environment. So I'll get a list of uh, the machines that are being backed up and I'll be able to see their statuses and if there's any errors as well, I'll be able to identify those quickly and either resolve that on behalf of the customer or um, let the customer know it's something they need to provide their attention to. We do have um, the ability to view this in the different departments as we pointed out in the management console. And we also have the ability to view individual Microsoft applications as well, uh, things such as Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft Exchange Server. We do provide applications aware backup and recovery for those applications. So you can come to this console and drill down and, and see the different SQL Server instances, the databases, and manage backups specifically on databases, on um, server instances, as well as files and complete um, machine images as well. So if you're familiar with the, uh, the Acronis backup technology, a lot of those things that you're familiar with in Acronis are going to be replicated in this, uh, this service as well. Also on the left hand side is the ability to, uh, to do the updates. I think currently all of my, yes, all my machines are up to date today. I don't have any agents to push out, but if I needed to update, um, I could simply select the machines and uh, click on the button to install the updates. But I want to fo focus more on the, uh, the back of a recovery technology for right now. Why don't I go ahead and I'm just going to choose um, my SQL Server as an example. And when I do select the machine, I can see that the menu on the right-hand side is now materialized and I can go in and, for example, uh, view the activities and make sure that uh, jobs are happening on the schedule. Like if I could click in and view any warnings if there were any warnings from the backup job. Also available on the menu is um, I can get information on the client itself. I can perform uh, recoveries. Um, before I go there, I want to look at uh, the backup side. When I click on the backup button, it shows me all of the jobs that are configured for this specific machine. And I can see there is one uh, backup plan currently configured for this particular server. Um, it's been titled um, Entire to Cloud. So we're going to back up the entire machine. That includes the, uh, the boot records through the partitions all the way down to the user data. And 
excuse me, and we are backing this up directly to cloud storage, and we're doing this uh, weekdays at 11 p.m. I can see all of my, my high-level options uh, right here on the right-hand side. If I wanted to have another backup plan, I can have multiple backup plans per machine. I can simply click on Add Backup Plan. Uh, this would be the same for creating a new backup plan when you first install the Acronis Backup Cloud as well. We'll give this a second to load and we'll start walking through some of the high level options. Um, in the interface you see that we do have um, a, a number of different things to choose from. You'll also notice that in the new backup plan window I have the ability to choose from other backup plans that I have created in my environment. So I have looks like about a half dozen or so different backup plans. I can choose to select any one of these machines or any one of these plans, I should say, and apply that to this machine and just simply add that as a new plan. Or if I want to, I can choose to create a new backup plan entirely. And I want to choose a new backup plan just to show you some of the options we have here. At a high level, um, there's the what, where, and when, really. It comes down to what do we want to back up? Do we want to do the entire machine? Do we want to back up specific disks? Do we want to back up specific files? Or just grab the system state? And you can, of course, um, if you do choose disks and volumes or files and folders, drill down on that client and uh, choose specifically what you want to back up. Where to back up, I do recommend going with a hybrid solution. Uh, by default, it's going to go directly into the cloud, but you can choose local folders or network folder. When you choose network folder, you do have the ability to browse a network based on the agent, so I don't need to be on site. The agent will, will feed back to the console what it sees on the network. I can choose my network attack storage. I can provide my user credentials. And there's also an option to copy those backups to cloud as well. So by doing so, with this option selected, the agent in the customer's data center will back up to the specified location and then replicate that backup up into cloud storage. So we automatically get a, uh, a true hybrid storage solution on that particular backup plan. Besides the what and the where, there's also the when. Uh, a lot of different options in the scheduling, and I can choose to adjust that uh, based on monthly, weekly, daily, or hourly. If I uh, choose to go hourly, I can turn that down for as much, I believe, as every 15 minutes would be my minimum, or I can stretch it out for as long as I need to be, depending on the criticality of the data. And that's something that, uh, that you as the MSP can help your customer define uh, which servers are more critical, what the recovery point objectives for all those machines are. This is really where the value-added component of reselling backup comes in. And then there is, of course, the how long to keep my data, and you can adjust that as needed. Um, we give you some recommended default settings, and you can tune those um, based on what your retention plans are, what your requirements are from business side, and how much storage you have available both in local and cloud. And lastly, before I um, get off of the new backups, I do just want to point out that there are many more options uh, hidden inside the menu if you want to turn on things such as encryption, if you want to uh, designate file filters, if you want to run commands before and after your backup jobs. Uh, there's lots of things that you can tune in the Acronis Backup Agent that are just simply uh, revealed underneath that uh, gear icon. Once I have designated my new backup plan, I would simply need to cl click on apply, and then uh, I have the ability to either run now or wait for that to come up on the schedule. Now I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. I think I have enough backup plans created. Um, the other part of backup, of course, is to do the recovery. The recovery does happen through the agent, provided that the machine is up and running. So the console, when I click on the uh, recovery option goes out to the agent. It asks the agent to enumerate the recovery points both on its local storage and on its cloud storage. So I will see a combination of, uh, of uh, cloud and local storage in this um, for any machine that has both. I have the ability to recover um, files or recover the entire machine if I'm doing image-based backups and I get to pick the point in time on which I want to recover. When I choose to recover files, uh, the agent is going to feed back to the console um, what files, what versions are in the particular uh, backup point that I selected. And from here, I can drill down and uh, choose to do the backups. Those files can be recovered in place. I can recover those to a, uh, a different location. Or if I want to, I can choose to simply download those in my web browser. So lots of things that you'd expect to see in here. I'm not going to take a uh, significant amount of time showing you how to perform uh, data recovery, but I did want you to know that those options are there. Um, 
There's also, um, again, behind an, an, another click, there's the ability to recover a backup of an image to another machine. So if I have a uh, spare machine on standby, I can select that machine and redirect um, an image level backup to a new piece of hardware to help bring that machine back online. I also have the ability to download the files directly through the web, web interface. This is downloading from the cloud storage, I will point out, so when I click on download files, it will bring me to a cloud recovery console specific to the machine that is being protected, or at least specific to the backup account used to protect that machine. So I can, even if that machine is completely gone, even if my data center is dark, I can still go to the cloud storage and download those, those files to whatever location I am at. And lastly, there's an option to download the ISO image. So if I wanted to boot to a uh, boot to a CD or boot to a USB stick, I can do that. Point to my storage location, whether it's local or I can choose to log into my cloud account and um, restore full image from a uh, from a fresh machine using the bootable media. Now I showed you the interface as it looks for this particular MSP. Uh, as this MSP, they are seeing the uh, the distributor branding. And if I may quickly log out, and if I can get my password manager to wake up here. <laughs> That's the MSP demo. I want to log in as the client. As you can imagine, I have just a few accounts here, and I seem to have misplaced my client side login. I wanted to log into the console as the uh, as client two and show you that other level of branding, but. Uh, I think we can pass on that. If you have any questions on uh, the backup technology, what we saw within the, the management console, um, how the backups work, do enter those into the GoToWebinar. Um, I will be returning to the slide deck shortly, uh, but I want to make sure I answer any questions you have on the, the management console, the backup console, the backup technology itself, because there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of features in here. I could literally talk about this for two hours straight and not necessarily show you everything the platform does, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of what we are bringing uh, to market with the Komodo One platform, what is now available uh, to you to resell um, and to use directly from Komodo and uh, we're pretty excited about this partnership. So a lot of great technology in this Acronis Backup Cloud, um, now partnered with the Acronis, of, <laughs> the Acronis, the Komodo One uh, management platform. So pretty exciting stuff there. Let's go back now to the PowerPoint slides. I've got some more value points that I would like to talk about uh, before we open things up for the questions. And again, the questions are really important for me because that helps me understand um, what your needs are, what your concerns are, and uh, really helps us to deliver the best uh, possible solution through Komodo and through Acronis. So I get your questions in now. We've got about ooh, 10 more minutes, 15 more minutes before we talk about those questions. Uh, very quickly, I want to talk about uh, just a review of some of the key features. We'll talk a little bit about licensing. Now, I've mentioned several times now the value of the hybrid data solution, the, the hybrid storage with local copies and cloud copies, giving you the ability to recover quickly and the ability to be protected in the event of any disaster. The bare metal recovery um, is pretty exciting, very valuable to a lot of people who are going between different pieces of hardware. You don't have to worry about having um, you know, vendor A's hardware on hand. If you have a, a failure in vendor A and you want to replace that with vendor B, the Acronis recovery process will allow you to do that. Acronis does provide uh, not only file protection, but disk image protection for the, uh, the complete backup. With that image-based backup solution, you do have the ability to extract individual files, extract individual databases, or restore the entire machine. So you are getting a very complete level of, uh, of data protection with that image-based backup. We do, of course, provide backup for both win Windows and Linux servers, and on the workstation side, uh, we cover Windows, Linux, and Mac PCs as well. So all the things you'd expect to find in today's SMBs, Acronis is right there offering protection for those. And of course, there's the Microsoft suite of business applications, SQL Server, Exchange, um, System State, 
Um, you can also expect to see SharePoint, Active Directory, and applications like that appearing in the list as well. And we're very strong in the virtualization market, whether it's the integration with VMware, Microsoft Hyper-V, um, there's direct integration of those platforms. We also have support uh, for Red Hat, KVM, Zen Server, Oracle. Um, it's very much a platform agnostic solution. We have the ability to back up data from across any of these platforms. So it's really a, a powerful solution that Komodo has, has partnered with here. Um, this is just a, a visual recap of the platforms we support. So if you see anything on this slide, you recognize it, you know you want to protect um, Komodo and Acronis are there to help you out. And then for the service providers, you know, the, the value on, on this side, on the reselling side, is it's very easy for you to use the, the management console to see what you're selling, to see where your customers are at, to help them out. Um, the remote agent update from the management console, so you don't need to go on site, you don't need to have customers clicking set up for you, they can all be done through the web console. Uh, the rebranding aspect is really exciting where you can now offer your own solution to your customers and actually be selling something with your name on it. It is um, truly a multi-tier, multi-tenant application. It's designed from the ground up to support all of these different uh, levels of resellers. I think there's five levels in total. Completely customizable self-service for the customer. So if they want to log in and manage their backups, manage their recoveries, uh, they do have the ability to log into their self-service console when you've provided them with the proper credentials. There is an automatic conversion of trials into production, so if you sign somebody up for a trial, um, at the end of their trial period, they can be automatically converted into a uh, production environment. There's no need to go back and uh, recreate their backup plans, to re-backup their data. All of that does come across automatically. It is a multilingual solution. Acronis uh, is a global company, and uh, this product is available in languages specific to the regions uh, based on what the customer is logging in as. The web console will adjust itself appropriately. And lastly, there's the, uh, the, the RESTful API and the uh, APS cloud integration. So if you want to tie this onto existing solutions and, um, and build upon that, you certainly can. By choosing to go with Komodo One and Acronis Backup Cloud, it does allow you to help assure um, the confidence for your customers to overcome their concerns with the cloud data security. Uh, both of these companies are very well known for their security uh, platforms, and Acronis adopts that as well with SSL encryption on the management channel, with uh, encryption of data at rest and in transit. We don't want to leave any data exposed. We don't want to put customers at risk. So security is very important to Acronis and our data centers as well. Acronis is a recognized brand. We've been protecting mission critical data since 2002, and we've been running a reliable cloud backup architecture since 2010. So even if the solution uh, may be new to you today, none of this is new to Acronis. And um, with Acronis' software-defined storage data centers, we are using Tier 4 designated data centers around the globe, and it is all uh, certified and equipped with the latest disaster pre prevention technologies to make sure that that customer data is always available to your clients, uh, no matter what's happening out there in the world. To give you kind of a almost an architecture diagram of the Acronis backup cloud solution with the Acronis hosted storage. There are the Acronis cloud storage facilities which exist around the globe, US, UK, uh, France, Germany. We have data centers uh, spanning, the, spanning the globe. And then there is the Acronis uh, global backup management cloud. This is the, uh, the interface which we uh, manage the accounts and perform the, the plan administration. And that is uh, resold and rebranded through several different levels from the distributors, sub-distributors, um, down to the value-added resellers, MSPs, and lastly to the customer. And then from the customer, they are installing the agents onto their physical servers, onto their hypervisors, and from there backing up the data to either their own on-premise storage or backing up into one of the Acronis cloud storage locations. The licensing for Acronis Backup Cloud is very simple, especially when you're partnered up with Komodo. It is a 100% pay-per-use model based on how much storage you're using on the back end. So as you add more machines to a customer's backup plans, as you move more storage um, into the Komodo Cloud, you do uh, 
you, you simply pay for the capacity that is being used. Um, it is priced um, at gigabyte per month, and uh, I believe it will be sold with an annual subscription, and that includes the, all the Acronis software and um, the Acronis cloud storage. All of the updates that happen on the, uh, the web-based back end and with the uh, client updates and all the new features, that's all included as part of that subscription price. And you do have 24 by 7 support available should anything happen where you need to get um, Komodo or Acronis to help you out with uh, overcoming any hurdles. So a lot of value in that. Some of the nice things about the, the licensing is there is zero capital expense. It's very easy to just sign up for this subscription, get the uh, product in place, and enjoy that guaranteed reliability. Do a quick time check. It is about quarter of. Hopefully you guys are, answer, are asking lots of questions. We'll get to that in uh, just a couple of minutes. Uh, a couple of great success stories, a few that we're very proud of. U.S. Signal um, chose the Acronis solution because uh, the, the feature allowing them to white label and rebrand it was a determining factor uh, for them because they want to be able to keep, maintain their brand image to their customers. And Acronis Backup Cloud enabled them to protect their customer data um, while maintaining their own branding. And another great story is from IT Contorit, and they're able to provide their customers with a great hybrid solution um, that was able to save them a lot of troubleshooting and manpower and make things easier for them and their customers. So, you know, the ease of use, the white labeling, all these stories are resonating well with our customers, and hopefully these are things that resonate uh, with everyone on the call today as well. To recap on some of the features, you know, we have the ability to back up files, images, um, clients across Windows, Mac, and Linux, the Microsoft application suite. We really have a very broad range of support when it comes to uh, backing up your customer's data. On the environment side, um, it can be Windows servers, Linux servers, uh, Windows PCs, any of the major hypervisors that any data engine that Acronis is built upon really um, spreads itself across the a lot of different platforms. Storage can be local disks, you can use USB hard drives, network shares, and of course we encourage you to use the, uh, the off-site Acronis Cloud storage that Komodo is now offering. And from a recovery perspective, you can of course recover any level of your data and also do bare metal recovery to dissimilar hardware, which is a great differentiator and um, a great time saver for your customers. We do offer direct file and application recovery, so if you need to recover a database into a SQL server, we will manage the insertion of the database for you. And the web recovery console that I showed you earlier um, brings a lot of value to the customers and being able to see what data they have and, and get that data back onto their customer sites quickly and easily. So why do you want to start using Acronis Backup Cloud? Well, you can start quickly with zero entry costs. It is a pay-per-use business model, so it is um, simply a, an operating expense and not a giant capital expense. It allows you to grow your business by offering uh, flexible cloud solutions to your customers and allows you to differentiate your business from your competition by providing these cloud services based on proven backup technology. It's not something that you're starting new on your own, but simply uh, providing a known service with your name on it. Hopefully these things will allow you to acquire more customers and retain those customers uh, by giving them both local and cloud-based backup. And you can maximize your revenue stream uh, with that recurring revenue from the subscriptions and the broad platform support that the Acronis Backup Cloud is built upon. All right, we're getting close to the uh, 10 minutes left mark. I'm going to quickly bring you through a little bit of history. Um, I know a lot of you out there have probably heard of Acronis before, um, but just for those of you who are maybe not very familiar, we are a proven leader in our industry. Uh, we have sold hundreds of millions in licensed revenue, 680 employees worldwide, and of that, 330 of them are in engineering. So we are very um, engineer heavy on Acronis, trying to bring you new innovations. We're very strong in our partner ecosystem, 30,000 partners across 90 countries, and um, we have um, 300,000 plus businesses under our protection, 5 million consumers, and over 160 OEM agreements. So a lot of people recognizing the Acronis technology as being a benefit to their businesses. Um, 5 million virtual machines under protection and products available in 14 languages and customers across 130 countries. So certainly a lot of people have heard of Acronis out there. 
we are a leading solutions to technology provider not only for disaster recovery and full image backup, but endpoint backup, system deployment, mobile content management, and enterprise file sync and share as well. So there's a whole lot of Acronis products that I have not talked about today, uh, but hopefully you might be enticed to come to our site and take a look. Uh, Three million new licenses in 2014, 100,000 corporate trial downloads per year and a, uh, a great banner of logos on the right hand side there that represent some of our more prized customers. Over the years we have won a number of awards for excellence and innovation and um, I think lastly I want to talk just quickly about the Acronis Any Data Engine. You've heard me mention that Any Data concept um, a few times now and you can see from this timeline that over the years Acronis has been the first to introduce image-based backup, the first to introduce active restore. We've been first to a lot of things and that comes down to the fact that we are a um, engineering centric company. We are dedicated to creating new innovations and continuing to drive data protection forward in, uh, in new and better ways. I do want to get to the questions, so I'm just going to let you glance at this slide quickly. The big thing here is uh, that the Acronis solutions across this entire platform are easy, complete, and safe. So I think it's going to be very simple for you to bring these to your customers. And that brings me to my last slide, and that also brings us to the opportunity for my friends at Komodo to read me some of the questions you've typed in. We've got about 10 minutes left. I should be able to get through a fair number of questions in then. Um, thank you in advance for your time. Thank you in advance for your questions. And my friends, let me have it. Thank you, Josh, for the wonderful training. Um, we're now going to begin the Q&A part of the webinar. So let's start here. Where is Acronis Cloud being stored? The Acronis Cloud Backup, although it might be transparent to the end users, um, goes into a Acronis data center local to their service provider. So when the service provider signs up with Komodo, Komodo has a choice of which Acronis data center the um, information is going to be uh, loaded into and I think if I back up just a few slides we did have those locations called out for our cloud data centers <laughs> I know I saw it we do have several in the US um, we're in Germany in Japan I would love to say I knew them all off the top of my head and I'd love to say I can jump right to that slide <laughs> um, but the, they are all stored in the Acronis data centers directly. Okay, I've misplaced my slide, but go on. Hopefully that answers the question that the, any, anything being backed up with the Acronis cloud, um, we are providing that directly to Komodo and that is being stored on Acronis property. Hopefully Thank that you, helps. Josh. Does the solution support mobile users in the field? Mobile uses, yes. Um, so if you have people in the field who are taking their laptops out on the uh, out into the field, they're not coming back into the office. Those machines can be backed up on a regular basis, because the client does not need to talk to uh, the corporate data center because the client doesn't need to connect um, to the customer site. It will back itself up directly to its designated Acronis cloud, regardless of where it is. So whether you've got endpoints that are in your corporate offices or endpoints that are out in the field working from hotels, working from home, um, those machines do have the ability to back up to the Acronis cloud on schedule as long as they are connected to the internet. So there is a, a fantastic pass through on that. Great. Are recoveries done from local storage or cloud storage? Well, we can do either, provided that one or the other is available. Um, if you are doing recovery from local storage, it will generally be faster. You typically have more bandwidth between your machines and your uh, your local storage than you do off the cloud storage. Um, I can't speak for everybody's bandwidth capabilities that they've leased to the internet, uh, but local storage will typically give you much faster recovery. Um, the downside of that is if your local building is dark or that storage isn't available, um, you now need to turn to the cloud. I mentioned earlier on that three, two, one rule of data protection and that one copy being off-site is critical for protecting you from any failures. Now, I also mentioned briefly that we do offer a, uh, a, a mass data recovery. So if you have a large number of servers that are being protected uh, through Komodo in the Acronis cloud 
and uh, you've lost an entire data center, maybe you've lost a rack due to water damage or, or something more severe, you can order a uh, mass recovery through Komodo and Acronis and your data will be shipped to you on a USB device. You can then connect that USB device to your local network and perform the recovery of the cloud data from a local location, if, they, if you followed that train of thought there well. Um, so it really can be done from either. Great. Um, what capabilities exist for backup management capabilities via mobile access? Via mobile access. I will presume this question means what can we do um, from mobile devices. The web application is built to support mobile platforms. I have demonstrated this product um, from an iPad. I've demonstrated this product from a Windows Surface tablet. Um, it does scale itself to the, uh, to the window available. I'll admit that trying to do it from my iPhone um, did require a little bit of scrolling back and forth with such a small screen, but it was possible. And, um, you know, it's great to be able to have those mobile devices. There is no need to have a client installed. Uh, typical software, typical backup and recovery products require you to have a client. So I know I in my past, I have, uh, when, when working remotely, had to open my laptop, connect the VPN, remote desktop to my desk at work, and then open up the recovery console to initiate a recovery. Um, with this solution, with it being 100% cloud managed, I can open up a web browser on any device, log into my account, and either download files directly or redirect those files back to their original location or a different server. Um, so yes, lots of, lots of mobile management capabilities, and it is all based through that dynamic web interface. We don't provide a, uh, a different mobile client for the backup solution. loving these questions. Thank you all for asking the questions. I really appreciate it. As, as a presenter, um, getting these questions from the customers really is the best part of my whole presentation. Great. A uh, few more questions. Does the backup handle open files? It does. Um, we leverage Microsoft's uh, VSS, the, the volume shadow services, to QS databases and other open files and um, provide access to them through the backup process. If you are dealing with an application um, that is not QS through VSS. We do have the ability to use the pre and post commands that I showed during the demonstration um, to help bring things into a consistent state for backup. So whether it is direct native application support uh, through Acronis in the operating system or whether we need to do some customizations, uh, yes, the backup cloud service will address open files. Can the cloud be in our office or is it required to use a third-party cloud? The partnership that we've come to with Komodo does have the storage component, the cloud storage component being done through the Acronis Cloud Storage. You could consider your storage and your data center to be local and as long as you can um, provide that as a, a, a local solution, a local storage device to the client, then you can use that local storage in your own data center. So you do have a, a choice of using either or both. Okay, and last question. Can you limit the functions of the customer's logins? Can we limit the functions of the customer's logins? Um, there are two different login types in the interface. One is a backup account, which is specifically designed for doing backups and recovery. It is the account that the backup agent will log in with, and customers can log in to the interface with their backup accounts. Uh, those backup accounts do not have access to the administration console. They do not have access to perform many of the administration tasks that we showed you, such as the ability to create new groups, the ability to create new users. Uh, so those accounts are limited, and you may choose to provide only those to your customer. The management accounts um, that are created inside the console are limited to the customers and the groups that they are assigned to. Uh, for example, I showed you that in my customer example, we had different departments. We had HR, sales, R&D, and each of those groups within the client can be given an administrator account, and those administrators are specific to their group. So I can have an administrator specific to HR who can oversee the HR operations uh, but can't traverse into other departments. So there, there is flexibility based on where the account exists and what the account type is. 
Thank you. That's going to conclude our Q&A part of the webinar. I want to say thank you again, Josh, for this wonderful training, and thank you, everybody, for attending the webinar. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us. You will be receiving a follow-up email within 24 to 48 hours with a link to the recording of today's webinar. And on behalf of Komoda and our presenters, thank you for joining us today, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.